Now I would like to simulate the electrostatic particle accelerator. It's a very simple device. It consists of the emitter and the ring. The emitter has negative potential and the ring has positive potential. Minus 15 kilovolts and plus 15 kilovolts. Again, the charge jet particle would be the electron. And the electrons are emitted from emitter and accelerated by the electric field. Our task is to calculate the final speed of the charged particle. I will create a new problem and call it accelerator. Again, it's electrostatic problem and the model class is axisymmetric. I have the drawing, so I will import the geometry model from the DIXF. As the problem is the axisymmetrical, we need only the upper half of the model. And I need to build the external boundary. So what we have here, this is the emitter and I speed set by, I set the level to the emitter boundary. I do not need the field in Inside the emitter, I do not calculate the field inside the emitter. So I specify the potential on the emitter surface. And this is this is the ring. And this is the vacuum. And the external boundary. The next step is to specify the physical properties for each material. For the vacuum I specify the electric permittivity. For the ring I specify positive voltage. And for the emitter, I specify negative voltage. And far away from my voltage source, the field fades to zero. So on the external boundary, I specify zero potential. Now let's build the mesh. Save all problem files. And solve the problem. Here is the field distribution in my electrostatic accelerator. Let's switch on the color picture. The emitter has negative potential and the ring has positive potential. Now let's put the electron at the tip of the emitter and calculate the trace. Again, I go to the view particle trajectory. 
the particle type is electron. I said zero speed. This is the trace. Let's switch off the color picture. View particle trajectory. I can follow the trace and see the kinematic value. Please pay attention at the speed, at the velocity. The electron is accelerated up to 7,000 kilometers per second. And we can see that it is fly away. The, the beam is not focused. And about how to focus the beam, I will tell you in the end of our webinar.